Today in election news. Akbar Alami, former member of Majlis and candidate for Iran's upcoming presidential election, said at a gathering of people in the northwestern city of Orumiye, quote, In Iran, whoever is servile will enjoy better conditions in the pyramid of power. And I have said many times that an elite collection of 200 ruling individuals are holding 7 million people hostage. According to the Aftab website, which supports the Expediency Council member, Hassan Rouhani, and is affiliated to the Moderation and Development Party, Etedal Vatosie, Alami in his first election campaign speech delivered at the Hazrat Abolfaz Mosque in Orumye, criticized the reformists for their double standards, and described those affiliated to this movement as members of the Party of Win. He added that the reformists were only after gaining power and profit. Alami, who started his remarks by reciting passages from the Quran, said that this action was confirmation of being actively committed to Islam. He then went on to criticize the Guardian Council for disqualifying him from standing for the previous round of presidential election on the basis that he was not actively bound to Islam. He then spoke to the people of Urumye about the upcoming election, saying, quote, If the lords of the earth permit it, I will stand for election in this round. In an indirect reference to the campaign slogan of combating the mafia made by President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad four years ago, Mir Hossein Musavi, a pro-reform candidate standing for the June election, said today at Kerman University that, quote, claiming to discover a mafia and not being able to bring even one member of this mafia to justice after four years is not something to be proud of. According to the pro-Musavi website, Kalame, while claiming that the system regulating the monetary sector in Iran has been destroyed, said that his proposed program to fight corruption will include the restoration of the management and planning organization and bringing transparency to the economic system so that the ground for the perpetration of offenses in the executive system would be minimized. Without mentioning Ahmadinejad by name, Musavi next referred to the latter's slogan of corruption, quote, empty claims, and added, quote, fighting corruption is impossible with such slogans. Today we are seeing the results of these slogans and must ask whether the current condition of the economy is a sign of the health or corruption. Musavi also told Kerman academics that one of the most important economic principles of his government would be to support national production of domestic industries, and if he should win, he would not allow oranges from Bam and Kerman to be left on the ground while Chinese oranges with Israeli tags be imported to Iran. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.